Tammy Abraham's proposed loan to West Ham makes sense for everyone, except Abraham. If there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that Tammy Abraham's current situation is not ideal for anyone. The 23-year-old has played just 230 minutes since Thomas Tuchel arrived at Chelsea in January and is somehow still the team's top scorer in all competitions. And he looks set to tumble further down the pecking order as Chelsea are casting glances at Erling. Haaland. Romelu Lukaku and Sergio Aguero. He needs a move this summer. And West Ham are keen to offer him the chance to head to the London Stadium on loan next season. David Moyes' side were initially expected to push for Abraham permanently. But with Chelsea demanding £40 million for him, they have scared off the Hammers and fellow suitors Aston Villa, Leicester and Newcastle. You might think that Chelsea should just lower their asking price. But in reality, £40 million isn't crazy for a 23-year-old England international with proven quality in the Premier League. For contrast, Villa brought Ollie Watkins up from the championship for £30 million and West Ham paid a similar figure. For Watkins' Brentford teammate, said Ben Rama, despite neither coming with Premier League experience, £40 million is the market for Abraham. So if nobody's buying, sending the striker out on loan and putting him in the shop window would be perfect. Teams would get more chances to see Abraham's worth. And West Ham would likely jump at the chance to pay £40 million next summer if the striker does tear it up. On a temporary deal. Even Abraham would win because of the extra first team football. But the major problem with this one is his expiring contract. He's got two years left to run and would have to ink an extension before going anywhere. But his reluctance to do so is the entire reason he's up for sale in the first place. Abraham does not want to commit to more time at a club who are refusing to commit to him. Chelsea won't play him regularly and are actively looking at spending £100 million on somebody to replace him. So why would Abraham want to sign on for even just an extra 12 months? He wants out now. And you can't really blame him. It's a bit of a rock and a hard place situation for Abraham. If he says no to a contract extension, he is left to rot for at least another 12 months. But if he says yes and heads out on loan, he'll be stuck on the books at Chelsea for a little while longer and risk fading into loan army. Obscurity. In both situations, the only loser is Abraham. The England man might be left with no choice but to bite the bullet and listen to Chelsea's proposal. As a 23-year-old who is still looking to prove himself capable of playing for an elite team, another 12 months out on the fringes could be fatal to his career. He simply cannot afford to get left out in the cold again. West Ham would give him the minutes he is craving. And if he scored the number of goals he thinks he's capable of, he'd earn himself one of two things. A permanent move elsewhere, or more minutes at Chelsea. Chelsea get to boost their assets and West Ham get a low risk. High reward signing. But Abraham gets another year of uncertainty. It's up to him to decide whether it's a gamble worth taking. For more from Tom Gott. Follow him on Twitter.